That's awesome. <laughs> it was like a treasure hunt. <laughs> They bite people's heads. Never really? Now yeah, that's history. Nanaimo. I'd heard rumors their most popular mayor ran around town with a sword. So I buckled down, did some research, and came across some gold. I'm Frank Nee, mayor of Nanaimo. <laughs> So I was a kid. I remember seeing him out in public in the costume. Really? He was so cool. friendly. Everywhere he went, he was chatting with people. Did he walk around the street like this? Yes, regularly. And you can see when you look at the costumes that they're quite worn. Where do you get your tax notices, folks? That'll take the smiles off your faces. That'll wipe the smile right, right off, off your... your face. <laughs> yeah, that was Frank. <laughs> yeah. When he got sick, I had the idea of having a bronze statue built of him. Frank Ney was Nanaimo. <laughs> and there he is. And there he is. You scurvy bunch of land lovers. Frank's legacy was the bathtub race. Yep, you heard it right. Bathtub. In the 1960s, communities all over Canada were looking for different ways to celebrate the centennial and looking for unique ways of doing that. Frank Ney was very flamboyant and he always had some crazy ideas. Well, why don't we put a motor in the bathtub? Can I get in this one? Unfortunately not. <laughs> We're gonna have to find a way to get me into one of these boats. <laughs> Getting suited up in my winter survival suit, just in case. I challenged one of the top tubbers in the world to a race and was pretty confident until he showed up with a tricked out tub. Oh boy, uh oh. <laughs> now I'm scared. Nice rig. Thanks. Bob. Jamie, that's me. Have you ever flipped it? Oh, many times. Oh, man. Hope you've got some boating ability, because they are a little tippy-tippy. OK. <laughs> you sunk quite a few bathtubs last time. 87 sunk in the wow. first 15 minutes last year. Must <laughs> have a big race. What was Frank's role the day of the race? He would be out there at the very start of the race, and he would do a countdown, and then he had a flare gun that he would shoot off. If the boat's not moving, the water's coming in. These guys and girls really want to win the World Championship bathtub race and all the glory. Compliments in your golden bathtub award. How do you feel? Oh, so tired. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> we were barely out there for 15 minutes. I can't imagine an hour and a half. But I won. You beat him? <laughs> no. <laughs> I may have lost, but I was still awarded with the prestigious golden plug. Usually I kiss the girls, but uh, that's, that's the end of that one. So. <laughs> Well, I hope I made Frank Nay proud. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. You hold a bottle of rum. <laughs>